See, I've changed directionally. So you can decide which, what sort of uh, switches or, or appearance you want outside. Always, eh? Always, from away towards you. This is away towards you, not towards you and going away. Now, I said the needle must go perpendicular. So you must allow the needle to penetrate on its own, perpendicular. If you don't go perpendicular, then no matter how sharp it is, it will not penetrate. Okay? And then I allow or I follow the curvature of the needle. Okay, I follow the curvature of the needle. I don't struggle. I follow the curvature of the needle. Uh, now here, no John Travolta. Uh, as I say, I must keep the needle. And I pull. See? I pull. Alright, then I can drop the needle. I can either hand. Or instrument. So I put three knots and then I cut. Suture scissors. It has got two limbs. Two limbs again. Eh? Ring, middle finger, and support. Now cutting is not done with both the blades cutting done with one limb can you see I'm supporting it and using the other limb to come to cut it I don't cut like that I support it I control it let the other limb come and cut it Okay, and then I can go on to put the next. Again, eh, we take 0.5 centimeter, 0.5 centimeter, and follow the curvature of the needle. Keep side, mm -hmm. and I can use hand or instrument. Eh? Here I use instrument. using a surgeon's knot here okay and I so if I go down and then tilt the blade I can get about 0.5 centimeters uh, control and bring the other blade to cut. Uh, so I can go on doing that. Okay. Now if I want to use continuous. Okay. Now if you are using monofilament it will unwind so sometimes we put 5 or 7. Yeah? Now here I don't cut both, I only cut one end. Yeah? Again. Yeah? Okay, so here my assistant will need to know when to let go and when to hold. Okay.
See, the tension must be maintained. Can you all see? Can you all see? Okay, so you can go on and on. Okay, so if I want, I will now tie a knot. Uh, and that is a continuous suture. 